Hey, this is Jessica, and uh, this video will be about aeration in uh, tanks. I only have one air pump on a tank, and that's my goldfish tank. Because with goldfish, it is needed because they do need high oxygen in their water. So what I have is, you can't really see it, it's a round air stone, there's sand on top of it, and I just kind of placed it in between these three rocks to hide it. And there's the airline tubing, which is Penplax Deluxe tubing. It's more of like a silicone, so it's not supposed to crack ever, because the regular cheap ones, I guess, are harder and they can crack. Um, it's back here with my, this is a Tetra 10 air pump. I paid like, I don't know, not a lot for it. Like 10 bucks, maybe. It's the smallest one you can get from Tetra. As you can see, <laughs> really, 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 really quiet. It's got these feet. It's kind of dusty back here. <laughs> it's got these feet, and you can't hear it at all. I've had a smaller pump from one of those like little setups, like you know those um, plastic tanks, and they always come with like a crappy air pump. Those are lighter than this one, so I really like this pump. And the Tetra pumps are known to be really strong. Like if I do upgrade the Goldfish tank in the future, I'm probably gonna stay with this pump or at least try it, and then if I see it's too weak, I'll upgrade to a bigger pump. So, um, the bettas definitely don't need aeration. Uh, the filter alone will oxygenate the water if you have a filter. If you don't have a filter, since they do have the capability of breathing on the top of the water, that will do for them. It's actually not good for air that much movement in a betta tank. They don't usually like it. I know some people have put like little air stones in their betta tanks but they don't leave them on constantly, like I do with the goldfish. Like even when I do a water change that stays on, I don't unplug it, there's no need. But they will, uh, like I guess, turn it on, let the betta have some fun with it, and then they'll turn it off. And that's only if you, your betta does have fun with it. If you notice your betta doesn't like it, I wouldn't even, I'd take it out. Uh, tropical tanks, a lot of people have them. It's not needed, but it does look nicer. And if, and if you have a really large tank, it can also help with keeping the heat at a, like a constant temperature everywhere in the tank. So you don't get like a cold spot or a really warm spot in the tank. But that's for like really big tanks if you have a really big tropical tank. But I know if I had a tropical tank, I'd probably have an airstone. I don't know if I'd have this, you know, disc at that point. It'd probably be something smaller. And if you have a really, if you know your filter doesn't give enough oxygen, then you would need the air stone. But most filters move the water enough to oxygenate the water. I got some pictures up, ready. This is a basic air stone. They're usually they usually come in these four packs, and they're usually like a couple of dollars. So then you just connect the airline tubing to like that piece, and you can hide that like I guess in an ornament if you wanted or even underneath the gravel. If you put an air stone like that underneath the gravel, it will lessen the air. It won't be like mine, where it's shooting out like this. It will lessen the air, and that could be a good idea for like a tropical tank. There's also these wands. These are really popular, because it's the bendable one. And you can actually bend it in your tank and move it, and it will have bubbles all along it. It's a wall. This is the one my boyfriend wanted to get, well, fiance wanted to get. It's a bubble wand, but it has lights. It comes in different colors. And I think it has suction cups. But the thing with these is I don't know if you'd have to replace it or how that would work. Because I know most air stones like this, after a while you have to replace them because calcium builds up and stops the airflow. So if that happened with this, and these are a little bit more expensive, I wouldn't want to... Unless you can replace the airstone that's in it, I don't know. Uh, this is a round one that I've heard a lot of people in different forums saying the round ones are better than just these square ones. So they produce, I guess, a lot of air. Some people just drop them in their tank. And, like, they don't hide them, they just leave them. With all the bubbles, you don't really see it anyways. Um, I wouldn't recommend... This is just a bunch of airstones like this type of airstone. It's a long 
one. It's a long stone one. I've heard bad reviews about the long stone one because they, um, what happens is you might not get nice airflow all along. You might have a spot that's like a dead spot because this is not coming out of that part of the stone. So that would really suck. So a lot of people like the bendable ones. But I don't think they have an air stone in those ones. They use something else to diffuse it. So yeah, if I, I think I'd probably get like one of those though, bendable wands if I upgraded tanks and have it running through the back. You can also get bigger discs. Like this is the smallest bubble disc. And you can get a medium size and then there's a huge one. So other than that, that's basically all you need to know about aeration. You know, it is important to have, but if you have a filter in your tank, that usually does it. And just keep in mind that that is don't like it, unless you know yours for sure it does. And there's the fish. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they want food. I didn't feed them yesterday because I'm fasting. But they'll get peas today. Okay, so if you have any more questions about air stones, you can ask, or air pumps. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.